So imagine you were trying to put together a bookshelf, have all the parts you need, but you don't have any directions, uh, any blueprints, and you don't have anything like a level to tell if what you uh, did in the end was right. So this is where Active Story Enhance comes in. It plays the role of blueprints here. Uh, you create your user interface prototypes using Active Story Designer, and then export them to the Wizard of Oz tool, allowing your users to test it from any location in the world. Um, once you've got that, you can uh, then use uh, TED's tool to do testing. So TT can be used to generate tests based on this prototype. Uh, you can take these tests and actually uh, record them on the prototype and then run them on your actual production code. So what this means in essence is that by combining uh, Active Story Enhanced and TED, uh, TT, you can get user interface test driven development. Uh, Active Story allows you to do all the kinds of things you would do in a uh, normal drawing application. Create an about dialog. So all this is done using the uh, stylus on the pen, which makes it feel totally natural for anybody who's drawing. Um, Active Story, right? And in order to make to allow the user to go back, I'm going to add an interaction here, um, essentially a button um, which l links to the main page. So I'll create a link, do it, drag over the X button, and tell it to go back to the main window whenever that's clicked. Okay, um, now I just need to hook up the uh, help menu so that it shows this page. Um, so I'll go to the help page and I'll add another interaction um, around the about button. Uh, link it up to the about page and there you go um, once you've got that you can start um, exporting I'm going to switch over to the uh, uh, web-based Wizard of Oz tool now once that loads up um, they can click the start button and start interacting with your interface um, at any point in time they can uh, leave comments by clicking on the leave comments tab um, typing in some comments there and closing it back up which will automatically pause it for them. Um, so once uh, multiple users have gone through it, you can go as the designer to a reports page, which um, lists the users when they took the uh, usability test, and um, then it can view the details. So it'll show you a s list of uh, the pages they've gone through, the duration they spent on each page, which button they actually clicked in the end, and you can also view uh, any mouse movements they had. So you end up seeing lines like this which indicate where the mouse was moving and also the speeds. Um, TED's tool is an application that's going to allow you to uh, record events from user interfaces and uh, turn these events into executable scripts. So uh, there are two ways you can start up an application. The first is just starting the executable directly uh, through TED's tool. So let's take a look at that. So just starting up a simple application here. Just select the executable, and there it is. Um, notice that since we chose this route, it's already generated a startup event for us. Um, now we're currently watching events from this window, and there they are. Um, we can stop recording, and this is the second menu. Just drag, release, gives us the opportunity to do one of these. No thanks. And now we're watching this again. So. When we're finished, what we can do is take this script, save it as just a text file, just a transcription of this. We can compile that text file into a C-sharp executable, which we can then run. So here are our interactions uh, replayed again. Let's try interacting with a uh, user interface prototype developed in Active Story Enhanced. Uh, so let's record this window. Now let's start recording this window. It gives us the opportunity to add a startup event. Let's go ahead and do that. Our base uh, executable is Internet Explorer, but if we want it to go directly to this page for the test, we need to send this URL as a startup argument. Uh, let's get some interactions. Uh, these are just... Um, some sample interactions that a user might have with this interface. Uh, they found out how to save. Okay, great. They're done. 
So let's end the test and run that test. So here we go. So our slight pause waiting for it to start up. System of interactions with the system. And there goes the window. So that's it.